Lights, Lights camera, camera, action. Good evening, you live in the Bay Area. Welcome to Bay Area Youth on Air, also known as Bay All right, I'm your host, Damien Williams. And Amanda Jack. And we are so excited to start off our first episode of season two. Woo. Season two. Now, we are thankful because Southern, Southern Exposure has given us this amazing grant to, con- to start our second season of Veo. Yes, yes, we are. And we couldn't have done it without our great tech crew. Ashley, Brandon, and Rocka, Tony, and Brian. You. No. Ah! We have great videos to show you from Bayback. Yes, we do. We just like to thank Bayback for their continuous su- support and allowing us to use their space and their time. And thank you. Thank you so much, Bayback. We couldn't have done it without you. Yes, we love you. So, Bay Area Youth on Air is a show produced by talented youth with disabilities. And our, our mission is to just find and discover youth talent all over the Bay Area. San Francisco, Oakland, you name it. We want you here. Please submit your videos and talents so we can discover you and put you on our show. So please email us at bayoletstalktalent at gmail.com. Also, if you, if you miss most of our shows, check out our website page, BayAreaYouthOnAir.com, and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube page. All right, so the first video we're going to show you guys is called Lost Letters by Roger from NextGen, a program that is supported by Bayback. Mm-hmm. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Now, dear brother and sister, I need to tell you that I miss my mother Cause I swear, I can't even picture her voice, her smile, her laugh And I swear that just makes me mad Cause I'm through getting sad Cause I see too much sadness in this world Every time I stand in my reflection But of course I didn't pay attention to myself Cause I thought that was good Truth, truth is trying to fit in Making all my feelings that I had be buried inside Cause I refused to see the light Didn't know that there was more to life until I seen the sunrise I still need you, you my pot, so the love never stopping I don't wanna see another parent 
I got in mind I need to tell you that I love you I can't even describe how I feel when you come to mind I can't even set a ten My biggest says that I never see you again So every sin I repent and every song that I pen is spent Trying to make you proud of when I see an angel in the crowd But I feel what if there's no heaven and what if there's no hell Only time gon' tell and what if I fail Trying to reach my dreams and trying to reach my goals I ain't trying to be another lie so that lies hope But my, I hope you proud of us and love what we become But mama, please forgive me for not living to the fullest Having pity on myself but not living a life that I wish But life happens, gotta deal with it I learned to grow up on my own, moving home to home But never was I alone, alone Cause my guardian angel is watching me, always on top of me Everywhere I go, and anywhere I breathe And everywhere I see, I try and make the connection No, but not for the presence of an angel But demons trying to tangle, thoughts get tangled I'm lost, trying to find a light But mama, thank you for blessing my life with ups and downs I'm 17 now, feel more alive than ever So be a mother, I miss you I wonder if you rest in peace If not, then please do it for me So dear, my past, my sister, my brother, my mother I need to tell you that I love you And no one is above you But let me tell you that I wonder And let me tell you that it's one love It's a letter for you Wow, that that was very, very, very touching. Yes, it is. Yes. So um, we <coughs> so we chose this the video lost letters because um it talks about dealing with the loss of a, a love a loved one like a family member or a friend and how how emotional can it be. So Amanda, what did you like about lost letters? So for one, I like the beat because it's like kind of slow, and I like the bells in the background. And then also, as that, I kind of know what he was going through. Like in one of the lyrics, how he said that he was, he had lost his mom. Mm -hmm. So did I. So I can understand what he was going through. Yeah, l losing a family member can be hard. It's, however, if you if you don't if you only focus on the positive instead of the negative, then everything will be okay. Yeah. And and, and I'm and I'm really sorry about the loss of your mother, though. All right, we have two special guests who will be featuring on our show today. Nicole Whistler, youth coordinator at Next Gen. And then we also had Day Day, who is a recording um, artist and also a youth mentor. And please also follow her on YouTube. We are so excited to have two special guests on our show today. And we're, and we're here, to, here to do some interview questions with them. So we can get started. Awesome. So, um, hi, thank you for coming to our show. Thank I'm Damien. Thank you for having me, Nicole. And Amanda. Nicole. Nice, nice meeting you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> All right, so, um, so Nicole, we have some questions for you, and next we have also have for you, Dede. Um, so, for Nicole, um, what is Next Generation? How are you involved? Cool. So, Next Gen is BayVac's um, youth program, so we have young people who are in high school between 14 and 18. Um, they come here after school two days a week and they take free classes in video production, audio production, or game code and design. Um, and then they make media or they, like Day Day, record an album or make films um, that screen all over the city. Um, and I'm the youth coordinator, so I work directly with young people um, as well as their instructors just to ensure that they have a ton of leadership opportunities, um, that the media they make gets shown, and that they're connecting with the local community here in the Bay. So, um, okay, so Next Gen is um, is open to, to to the whole Bay Area, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole Bay Area, yeah. We have students from here in San Francisco, but as far away as like Hayward, um, some students coming from the South Bay, so. Oh, like San Jose, San Mateo, you name it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what was the best part of your job? Best part of my job, mm -hmm. I think the best part of my job is um, sometimes students come in at the beginning of the year or they're starting the program and they're really, really shy. Um, so seeing students transform generally, whether that means that they start in beginning and then they go to advanced or some of our students will come in and at first they don't know if they want to perform or they've never bef performed before um, and then I get to go like see them in a show um, or watch their music video and that's really cool to see that. Okay. 
Um, do you have any advice for the talented youth out there in the Bay Area? Oh, man. You would have better advice than me. Um, but I would say, and you might, yeah. You <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I would say keep doing what you're doing. Get a mentor. Look for mentors. Look for folks who believe in what you're doing and support you, whether that's at Bayback or elsewhere. Um, yeah, and just try a bunch of times, even if you're not really good at it at yeah. first, right? What would you right. say? I say the same thing, like uh, get a mentor, like you were saying, like like me, because I'm a mentor. So <laughs> anybody need a mentor, but um, get a mentor and you know like just stay true to you and um, believe in yourself is the first thing. So just believe in you and you can keep going as far as you want to go. Okay. Uh, that's real. That's some really inspiring advice you got, both of you. Mm. Uh, have you been an artist before? I've been an artist. Um, yeah, I've, I do, so right now I do photography, mostly, um, and I write a little bit, but in the past I've, um, I got into this work because I was a filmmaker, so okay. I was making community films. So what do you mean by writing? I'm trying to get, it was my New Year's resolution, I'm trying to get back into writing. I wrote a lot when I was younger and when I was in school, and I kind of let it fall by the wayside, so okay. I'm trying to get back into it. Well, yes, yeah, so, so you're, you're much of a writer, huh? A little bit. I'm inspired. I'm really inspired by the young people who come into Next Gen, and they're always trying to like learn or get better. And so I was like, Yes, um, yeah, do that too. yeah. Um, all, all of us are artists, and um, and like we're we're trying to do what what we love to do. As like for myself, I'm mm -hmm. really into drawing and writing. So, yeah. so um, I'm I'm doing the best I can to to do that. So right, you gotta find time. It's I important. know find times that that's why um that's why I I'm always um online look looking at stories or mm -hmm. or watching youtube videos on, on drawing and some of that so yes yeah, so you, you get we're a lot in of inspiration i feel it we're in it together awesome okay so day day um, would you like to show us any of your music videos <laughs> yes of course i have a music video um right now on youtube and the song is called dream okay let's yes, check, check it out, out. <laughs> Is made of metal, 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 pocket full of yellow, yellow, pocket full of gold, and I hope you find, I hope you find your tree, tree. Mouth is made of metal, 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 pocket full of yellow, yellow, pocket full of gold, and I hope you find, I hope you find your tree. As a kid, I realized, but I often dream about the city that was cold when it was only spring. I wanted to be a baller or a Laker, as you call it. Points turned me down, so I became an alcoholic. At a young age, I'm saying life was hectic. It was crazy. People socialize and whisper, but they ain't saying nothing. The glow was what I saw for me. Stream, I planned to take in. Catch my breath from me, step as I was planning to win. No communication, no time for the bakers. Had so many thoughts, my heart became completely vacant. Also told God that I longed for a vacation. But where we broke lines. It caused a jack situation Maybe I was wrong Cause the pain was the driven I had to pick a dream But the blur became the vision The things that was wrong for me Satan often brought to me Happiness cost I bought it to see Mouth is made of metal Metal, metal Pocket full of yellow Yellow Pocket full of gold And I hope you find I hope you find your tree Tree Mouth is made of metal Metal, metal Pocket full of yellow Yellow Pocket full of gold And I hope you find Find your tree, tree, tree. Yo, haters don't want to see you make it. They watch you fall and stumble. When you get up, that's when you stop to see them crumble. I held the mic up just to maintain and keep me humble. Steady spitting bars, catch it all, never fumble. They told me I would never equal to the greatness. I feel like Kanye, cause I'm a genius when I'm creating. I'm only here for the moment, take my time so I can own it. Breathing in every bar, exhale while I'm flowing. My mind is only here, but my heart is on the mission. Gucci pleasure of the life that sit around the riches. My role was to focus on the character I invented That had one dream that triggered her ambition My life was controlled, I never did fit in I'm wishing upon a star that I'm the voice that make you listen Condolences goes to the ones that never made it Navigating my road, hopefully I can't partake Mouth is made of metal, metal, metal Pocket full of yellow, yellow Pocket full of gold and I hope you find I hope you find your tree, tree Mouth is made of metal, metal, metal Yellow, yellow, pocket full of gold, and I hope you find, I hope you find your tree, tree, tree. Before the song ends, I hope I find.
find my dream, but at the same time, it found me. I had to push the negative that's around me just to catch the blessings in my hand that God sent me. See, my stomach makes the rumble sound because I'm hungry now. There's no peace that can go that keep my feet from off the ground. I moved around a lot, but I finally found the right spot. Find my own lane, speed through every bar that I drop. No stops, no brake lights. Short time, but I made mine. Blast through every line because my rhymes is my nine. I did the crime because it's the hatred that I despise. Lights on the stage when I see when I arrive. My dream is the only thing that keeps me alive. My soul is already taking up a rest when I die My dream became my wife I know, I accept it The only thing that felt like It was heaven Memphis made a medal Medal, medal Pocket full of yellow Yellow Pocket full of gold And I hope you find I hope you find your tree Tree Memphis made a medal Medal, medal Pocket full of yellow Yellow Pocket full of gold And I hope you find I hope you find your tree Amanda, do you, what do you think of the video so far, Amanda? I thought it was really, 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 really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, like inspiring, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, like when, when, once you look at the look at the video and like listen to the music and the lyrics, it's it's like um, it's like it start from something dark and it goes all the way up to something positive. Yep. <clears throat> definitely, definitely. That's what um. I was trying to do with this song and the video, so you know I'm glad that you guys were able to catch that. Okay. So um, we we have some questions for you, Dede, and um, so um, Amanda, would you like to start? Sure. So what what did you have to do to create your songs and your dreams? Um, well, to create that song, that song was literally like the last song on my first EP okay. called My Introduction, which I did with Bump Records and Bayback. Okay. Um, but to create that song, basically, I always, like, write songs in a crazy place. Like, it can be a whole bunch of stuff going on around me. It's crazy how I can just tune people out and just start writing. I don't know why. That's, like, my best, like, effort of writing right there. Okay. So to create that song, I was kind of biased about it because I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to put this much out there. And then the hook and everything. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and okay. actually record the song. So, yeah. Okay. So how long have you been rapping? Um, see, I've been rapping since the age of eight, wow. but I took it seriously, like, around 18. Wow. Okay. So you started rapping at age eight, and then you took it seriously 10 years later. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I was always, like, that kid, like, at school or something, they'll be boxing, and, like, and then they'll beat on the table and everything, and I'll spit a freestyle or something. Wow. But then at 18, I was like, all right, let me start actually writing music. So. Okay, um, so the next question is, what is your favorite rap artist and how do they inspire, inspire you? Favorite rap artist, um, Tupac. Okay. Tupac Shakur is my favorite rap artist just because he inspires me like since I was a kid. Okay. He always inspired me. Everything he says like just stuck to me, you okay. know, and I always like kind of seen myself in certain things that he did. So like that's like my biggest inspiration if I'm in a studio or whatever and I'm writing or something is always like all right Tupac kept going you know what I'm saying no matter what was happening in his life all the negative okay. things he kept going so yeah there's not a lot of rap artists who rap who rap about who rap like Tupac you know yeah definitely <laughs> I'm like what Hey, so anyways, you you got you gotta love you gotta love Tupac though. He yeah. he was there since I was young, so <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Nineties, nineties, the nineties feel definitely like the nineties era for hip hop to me was like the best era. I was born in ninety two, so like the nineties era was like the best. Okay. Yes. So what would you do if he was still alive today and he walked in right now? Man, Surprise. see, <laughs> it's crazy because like people ask me this question, he'd be like. I always said if, like, Lauryn Hill and Tupac had a baby, I will be, like, the creation. <laughs> like, I will be that child. Like, so if I, I – those are two people I wouldn't even want to meet because it will be, like, I'll probably ball down crying. Literally. Like, wow. it's crazy. 
Yeah, the, yeah. When, when it comes when it comes to celebrities showing up from out of the blue, trying to trying to congratulate Man. you, people are like, oh my god, you be like, you you don't know what to say, you be yeah. like going nuts. You know, just start fanning out and everything. Like, I'll probably pass out. You have to call the ambulance or something. (laughs) (laughs) Like, man, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so um, what is what is what is BRL stand for, and what is it about? BRL, Beats, Rhymes, and Life. Um, that's what that stands for, and it's a nonprofit organization. Um, we work with youth that are in group homes, juvenile hall centers, and stuff like that. We do workshops. We teach them how to write their own songs, um, do performances. Uh, they'll have a showcase at the end where they show, you know, all their family, their work they have done. Um, we do outings with them, hang out, have little parties for them and stuff like that. And um, we basically mentor the youth, and we also haul, we also haul like, classes and everything for, like, the academies. Uh-huh. So the academies are, like, above, like, I'll say above the youth. So we'll do like little classrooms and stuff like that to where we'll teach them how to teach other youth. Right. So some of them be the ones that already graduated the program and they want to come back and teach. Ah, so I we see. also do like curriculums and teach them how to teach the youth. They come back, they teach the youth, and they be mentors themselves. Mm. So basically, so I, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I see um, kids who are who who been been through bad times in their lives and go to this program and next thing you know something really good happens yep definitely 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 we um last thursday we just had a showcase for our youth and um it was pretty amazing just to see like how much they didn't put into it and um how much music can just change you know someone's life you know just by putting it down on a piece of paper and writing a song or some people never sung before, and they wanted to sing, and they was able to accomplish that goal and yeah, sing so in front of people. I know that that might be that might be a good good program, and like, and maybe one day, like, if the performance is really good, they might get a record deal. You no, know, yeah, we had some situations like that to where we had a couple of youth actually that actually got signed out of coming out of BRL. It's actually a rapper named G Easy, um, and he was literally with BRL when he was younger, mm-hmm. and now he's like a dope, signed, amazing artist doing tours and stuff like that. Mm. So a lot of, there's a couple of people that come out of there and get signed with certain individuals. Yeah, that that must be really, that must be something. Yeah. It must yeah. be something. So what type of, like, do they do, like, rapping, singing, or is it all? We do it all. Um. We do it all from <laughs> rapping, singing. Um, if you do rock, we have that. Um, we also have... What, what we have right now is also for singing. We have, like, a singing coach to, like, help you with your vocals and everything like that. So we do workshops like that. Um, we basically have everything. So you know, mm-hmm. we even do like poetry. Sister act, then. <laughs> yeah, basically. Basically just like that. <laughs> so well, maybe maybe you can have your um, program be our... Your L um s- uh, submit our video to our to our show bail oh. and maybe it and maybe we can fe- maybe we can have them and inter- have us and inter- have us interview them or come here so we can interview. Them. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. We're always like down to do that and anything with you, we always do. So definitely, we would love to come here. All right, so Dede, um, um. <laughs> We want to ask you if you want to do a little freestyle for us, a freestyle Hopefully performance. Say yes. <laughs> yes, I will do a freestyle, yes. a little yes. something, something, something. All right. Um, How day day. <laughs> It's better love at a slower pace. Never put your pretty flowers inside a broken vase. Always keep some positives in the negative space. Mama said forget them all, get them out of your face. Always want some time to to myself to unwind. Refresh my mind, intertwine with love I can find. People always say you gotta stick to happening, stick to rapping, and that's what I do. Always gotta do what I do just for youth. You understand, gotta believe me, you believe in me too. The name is Dede, never forget the name. Payday, rhymes with things, always the same. I stay the same in my brain understand when i find it and rind it and wind it and rewind it intertwine it people understand i got the rick and flow it it though in it though if you ain't really know this is how it go i've been rapping since the age of eight now i'm 23 about to be 24 i'm never late can't believe i made it to this day to get it now i'm on here man and i gotta really spit it and i spit it to admit it man i do it and i does it man i do it and the rest of y'all do it because of it I do this hip-hop thing, this non-stop thing, this rhyme thing that I do with the Bayback thing. Bump fam, lay, and may, BRL never change. Understand that is the name, I stay the same.
That's what oh, I got. Right. I kind of messed up, but y'all can y'all can edit y'all can edit that out. <laughs> that was great. That was very great, Ed. That was kind of messed up. Just edit all the mess ups. So just edit it out <laughs> and just keep it like steady flow. <laughs> that was like off the top of my mind too. They just be perfect. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming to our show, and we and we're looking forward into seeing seeing your music and your videos on YouTube. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, definitely have some more music and videos. Um, I just shot a, another video last week uh, to another song I got called "Where Were You." So, um, definitely got a lot of more videos and music coming soon. And we're looking forward to seeing seeing some of your some of your films too, yeah, Nicole. Yeah, come on back, come on back to Bayback really, really anytime. <laughs> you can follow me on SoundCloud if you have a SoundCloud. Just put in Day Day underscore Rockstar Thug um, and follow me on SoundCloud. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in for this week's show, and we'll see you next week. Yes, see you next week on Channel 76 on Fridays and Sundays at 3.30 p.m. 3.30 p.m. M, M, see you later, guys. M, M. Bye. Remember. Bye. Remember. And remember, let's, let's talk, talk talent! talent! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Cut. Cut. That's, That's a wrap. wrap.